Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, a.k.a. BGFH, and we are back. I am back for an accessible iOS game video this time. And <clears throat> this one came out of nowhere for me. Just discovered it earlier this morning as I'm recording this. Uh, knew nothing about it, but it sounded really unique. And boy, is it. Um, we are going to be taking a quick look at a game called... Black Box. Black Box. Actions available. And Black Box is a puzzle game that is fully voiceover accessible. But it is not a puzzle game like you would, your mind would immediately jump to. It is not a match three puzzle game. It is not a word game. It is not a... Um, you know, falling block or shape puzzle game. Uh, it is nothing like that. Black Box is a boy. Um, it's almost it's really hard to even describe it, let alone uh, without demoing it. And you know, I usually say that these videos are going to be fairly short. But I think this one is actually going to have to be, simply for the fact that A, I haven't gotten very far in it, and B, to really demonstrate many of the puzzles I feel would kind of do a disservice to having you guys play the game yourself, because as you'll see, like I said, this is a totally, totally a unique style of puzzle game. Um, there is one app one game, iOS game that I found a while back, I was trying to, I was going to do a video for it a while back, but for some reason that particular game actually kind of seemed to hate um, being mirrored to my computer, so I was unfortunately unable to do so. Um, but that one was not voiceover accessible, but it was a similar premise. It was called um, Progress to 100. So let's go into Black Box, and I will kind of attempt Black Box. to explain what the heck this is. Okay, so let me... Words. Character. Words. Speaking rate. 55%. Just for the new people, let me, I'll sh I will slow the speech down. I, I, I usually keep it pretty fast, but anyway... So, I'm a ways in here. I, um, I'm not going to show this app from the beginning, um, but I will redo some of the puzzles that I've solved. I might try to do one or two that I haven't figured out yet. Um, that said, uh, like I said, I'll show you what this game is. So, basically, <clears throat> Black Box is a puzzle game in that you... It is asking you to do all kinds of interesting things with your device. So when it starts up, you know, the first thing is like, hey, what is a black box? Okay, it is some mysterious thing. Is It, a, it is also a really frustrating puzzle game <laughs> or something to that effect. And then they're like, oh, you know, um, I think you had, to, you had to tap something and then you had to... It, it, there was some text and it said oh this text is upside down and that's all it said so the whole point of this game is each of these puzzles or little there's little groups here they have lights in them and they're not lit by default in order to light them you have to figure out that items puzzle or that set of items puzzle puzzles uh, so um Let's go into. I'm just going to explore by touch, and I'm going to touch the first. Six lights. Type one. Six of six solve. Okay, Tell six lights. One. Six of six solve. So I'm going to go into this, unmute. and I'm going to unmute so you guys can hear the game audio. Again, voiceover, we're going to have to do gorilla style because no audio mirroring for voiceover. Boo. Uh, I wish they would fix that. Six lights. So let's type go into one. the six lights six thing. Lights. Type challenge type one. Light two of six solve button. So, on this screen, typically what you're given, you will see um, the number of lights in each puzzle set here. In this case, there's six. And you'll also be given some kind of a clue, be it audio, 
visual or both. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, this isn't accessible if you're going to be given visual clues. Not true. Uh, as you'll see, um, when you swipe to the left or right, or if you explore by touch while voiceover is on, uh, it will actually tell you what the image is conveying. And they're not complex images. They are... Um, you know, it'll be like a little outline or a circle. Like, they're just kind of like little, like, basically line drawings, essentially. So you may hear, like, a low hum right now. And if I flick around... Light 2 of 6, so light 2 of 6, solved. Light 2 of 6, light 6 of 6, so light 3 of 6, solved. Light 4 of 6, solved. Light 5 of 6, solved. Light 1 of 6, solved. But open wormhole to home grid, or double tap with two fingers anywhere to quick exit. Button. Okay, open wormhole okay. interestingly, this one isn't telling me anything, but it's giving me an audio clue. So if I... This one, basically what it wants me to do, and again... This one isn't too big a deal because it's the first one that you encounter, but after this puzzle, I will, or this series of puzzles, I'm going to warn you, if this sounds interesting to you, maybe stop the video and, and play the game for yourself because, you know, I, there is going to be spoilers in this video, solutions to these puzzles. And a large part of the fun of this game is it's really tricky, um, but is just figuring out what they want you to do and it's really creative. So this one, okay, we're hearing noises. I am flipping and rotating my device. Now I don't know if it's going to say, if voiceover is going to say anything. Um, because I've already solved them. But I'm just basically rotating my phone. I'm flipping it in every possible direction. I'm, f I'm putting it like face down on the table. I'm putting it face up. I'm putting it like so held landscape, home button to the left or home button to the right. I'm putting it, um, you know, portrait mode, top down. Um or upside down. So that's why visually you're seeing the, the screen just go all kinds of like weird things. So it'll still tell me that everything is lit. Let's go to a different one. So I can double tap with two fingers or I can even do a scrubbing gesture, the kind of your magic scrub back gesture, and it'll take us back to our grid. So that one's like the first one that you get to. So from this point on, um, like I said, that one's all about tilting, and basically of the six lights that you have to turn on, the whole gist of it is basically, um, you know, tilt it in every direction you possibly can, you know, until all of the lights are lit up. That's your easiest, most straightforward version. So, now that we're on the main grid, um, different sets of these puzzles appear. Uh, and they're not in any sequential order or anything like that. Like, they just kind of appear, like, the more, the better you do, the more puzzles you solve, the more will actually appear on the board. And sometimes they will appear, but they won't actually be unlocked. They'll say, hey, you got to solve, like, two more puzzles to do, to oh, unlock this set or whatever. So if I touch down on the lower right here. Level pack barrier. Options to unlock 11 challenges. Button. Level pack barrier. Options to unlock 11 challenges. Button. Options to allow, unlock 11 challenges. Let's double tap that. Level pack bar Let's see what he unlock says. Advanced pack. Pension for patients. Or why? Today's bonus. One hint coin. Unlock the advanced pack. Heading. Okay. Today's bonus. One hint coin. Okay. You clearly have a knack for hard puzzles and a pension for patients. Are you ready for what comes next? This is called foreshadowing. <laughs> unlock for 99 cent free. Button. So, okay, so that one you actually have to pay for. Most of them you don't. Um, that said, I will, I will pay for the extra packs in this game because the game is free. Black Box is free. There are a few types of in-app purchases, but there are no ads. Um, and as cre like, here's the thing. As creative as this game is, 
you know, it's not just, you're not just reading things on a screen. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, you kind of have to think outside the box. You almost have to think outside the game in order to solve some of these puzzles. And the fact that it all works with using voiceover and just how it, like, it makes use of all kinds of things with your phone, it's really kind of cool. So I will definitely throw some money. This is made by one guy also. I found this on AppleViz, and I, he, the developer is actually posting in the forums there. Uh, I posted a couple times there replying. But this game is just cool. So after this video, I am definitely going to unlock that pack. But let's look at... Um, Open challenge type 1. Level pack barrier. Options to unlock two challenges. What? Options to unlock two challenges? What if I double tap that? Funny how this one is very C. Funny how this one is very close to the share button. So there's a share button um, that there's an objective where you can share the thing. So I haven't shared anything yet, so I haven't done that particular task yet. Um, let's look at this one on the right here. Options to unlock eight challenges. What does this one say? Okay. Cheaper than a vending machine lunch, but twice the fun. Hmm. Buy for one dollar and ninety nine cents. Okay, so you there are a couple of them that you can pay for, Six lights, but type one. but those you know those are not quite as many. So if I touch two lights, type five, zero if two solved, zero Open if two solved, five. and if you can see visually, there are a whole bunch of items on this grid that aren't even showing yet. So I've unlocked a big cluster in the middle. But there's, uh, there's a few on the bottom, there's a few on the top, or quite a bit on the top. Page two of two. Okay, so I can do the three-finger swipe up and down. Oh, God, yeah. Page two of two. Page one of two. So, yeah, yeah, we're kind of in the middle. There's probably... Oh, there's a lot of these here that I can unlock yet. Uh, okay, so let's... So, basically, to navigate this main screen, I can explore by touch. Or I can flick. So if I go back, six lights, six one, lights and six if I flick to the solved. right, three lights, type two, one of three solved. Open challenge type two. Okay, let's do that. Let's open challenge type two. So there's one of three lights solved. I think I know which three one lights, it's selected. Type two, challenge type two. Okay. So this one, you notice the screen. Look at the screen right now. It's actually filling up. Uh, I actually did ask for a hint on this one because. Literally, it just showed three lights, and I had no idea. Uh, let's see if it gives us any hints. Light two of three. Light one of three. Visual. Headphones recommended. Visual. Headphones recommended. That was the only clue. So I'm like, huh, I have no idea. So the one that I... And I, I, I the funny thing is the light that I actually light got here... I accidentally got and I had no idea how. So it turns out, like I said, from this on, point on, there is going to be spoilers. So, you know, don't watch too many more of these, but I'll, I'll do a few, I'll do, a, I'll show you a couple more puzzles just so you can see what this game is like and how you have to think uh, to play this game. So this one is all about sound. And you notice that when I am uh, talking, you're seeing this weird little bubbles and things come up. But if I'm really quiet, let's see if I can get this next one. Light turned on. Ah, all right, cool. I finally got it quiet enough. So there's three lights and the, any one of these um, lights I can flick to or explore by touch to them, and I can double tap them. So if I were to go to this light, one of three. <laughs> I love the way it says, but it's trying to say, shh. So voiceover, that was my hint for the first bulb, and I went, oh, okay, headphones. So this is a sound puzzle. I had gotten the medium one because I apparently was talking when I was dinging around with this app. And it recognized it had a, a mid-level of noise. So on this hint screen, you have, they give you five hint tokens 
to start with for free to get you started. And you can buy more. You can um, you can buy in like there's like a one token. There's a three. I think all the way up to there's a twenty and a forty or something like that. Share screenshot button closes hint view button. So let's close, close the hint the view. Hint <clears throat> If I were to click on this third one that I haven't solved, I'm not going to use a hint on this, but light three of three unsolved. Hint screen for light three of challenge two. You have two hint credits. So it says I have I have two hint credits. I'm not going to waste one on this because I know what I have to do. I'm just not going to do it on this video because it probably would be not very pleasant for you because I'm going to have to talk really loud for a certain amount of time for that uh, third loudness thing to go. So. All right, I got one. All right, so I solved one more. Four lights. Type home grid. 19 out of 51 reveal challenges. <clears throat> six lights. Type one. Six of six solved. Okay. Type one. So let's look at another one that I've solved because that way I can show you what this is. So let's say that I want. So again, I can flick to the left or right. Three lights. Type two. Two of three solved. Okay, so that's the one we were just were in. One light. Type three. One of one solved. Let's go into this one. Let's see what this one is. One light. Type challenge type three. Visual. Circle pulsing. Top middle of device. Okay, so here's your hint. It's a visual puzzle. And you can see if you're low vision. Um, you see there's like a half circle. And every so often there's a little pulse in the upper middle of your screen. And if I were to flick to the left or right, voiceover will tell me. It already did, but I'll do it again. Visual. Circle pulsing. Top middle of device. Circle pulsing, top middle of device. So again, remember when I said you have to think outside of the app, outside of the game. So literally, this device is going to make you use your, you know, not just your accelerometer or your microphone or your camera. Um, but it, it, it like uses all kinds of weird combinations. So this one, what's think about what's on the top front of your device. You have your screen. Okay, there's a camera. Your your little face cam camera. So if I put my hand over the camera, you see the screen goes dark, and the audio is getting louder. Okay, it's not getting any louder. Boom! I take my hand away. The screen got totally full, filled up. So basically that one, all it wanted me to do is to block that camera sensor from light. Um, so that's how we solve that particular puzzle. And let's do our... Let's go to our home screen here. Exit. Home grid. 19 out of 51 revealed challenges solved. Six lights. Type one. Six okay, so we don't care about six lights. Type three lights. Type two. One light. Type three lights. Type four. One of three solved. Okay, Open I know. Type four. Oh, okay, this one is interesting. And and this one, okay. Oh, I'm trying to think of how many really to show you. I might show you like two or three more. Um, so let's go into this one. This one I haven't fully solved. I know how to solve it, but I can't do it at this moment. So... I'm going to double tap on this three. Okay, so my um, my my uh, phone vibrated, and on the screen it shows fifty. It says fifty-six green balls, and I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? You know, I'm like, oh, do I have to? Are these like bubbles? Do I have to pop them? No. Do I have to rotate my device? Do I have to, like, get them from the top or the bottom of the screen? No. Tried that. I was stumped. I'm like, literally, I had no idea. So this one I did try to get a hint. Um, which one did I get a hint on? Visual. 56 green balls. Light one of three. Unsolved. Did I get a hint? Okay, so here's my hint. Revealed hint. More power to you. More power to you. Okay, there's your hint. So your your main clue is like your whatever a fifty whatever green balls. Um, and then your your unlock hint that I used a uh, a hint token for or a hint ticket for is more power to you. And as soon as I saw that, I'm like. Wait a minute. Okay, so let's close this. Closes hint view button. 
closes in view. Visual and now we're back on balls. 56 green balls. Now, if you're not, if you're totally blind, you may not know what color your indicator is. But when I when I put the the green color and the <clears throat> um the number together, I'm like, no, they didn't mean that. So if I go up to what happens if I go up to my um status bar? Fifty six percent battery power. Status bar item. Fifty six battery power. Hmm. How many balls do we have? Fifty six green balls. Fifty six green balls. And so there are three of them. Now the tricky, the only thing is, um, I'm guessing, so I, I got the one that's at 50%. I'm guessing I have to do one at 100%, and I probably have to get one, I don't know what the lower percentile will be, like 20 or 10. We'll have to find that out. But literally this one I cannot solve until I make my device's battery get to a certain percentage. That's crazy. So let's back out to our home screen here, our, our main grid. Let's look at one of my other ones here. So I'm going to explore by touch. Uh, let's see, which one is this? Okay, I did. we just did that one. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Let's do... Let's see, what this. What was this two light? Okay, yeah. So this is the first clue I think that we got after completing that initial six. So it says visual clue. Visual circle with medium lines radiating outward. Circle with medium lines radiating outward. Now on Apple Vis they said that he's gonna to try to actually clean up some of the clues a little bit because when I look at this visually I can immediately tell what that's supposed to represent. A totally blind person if they have no like visual perception of like what something might look like um, people were having trouble with that one circle with lights rating out from it. You might be able to guess the sun, which is what it is. Um, but some people just weren't figuring that out. And I didn't figure it out right away either. I'm like, I, I know, I'm pretty sure it's the sun, but I thought I had to work within the app. Here's where you kind of had to break that fourth wall. You had to be like, okay, you know, I'm like, okay, maybe if I tilt it a certain way, it'll make it brighter. Or if I, you know, if I tilt it or if I do a gesture, pretty much most of the, except for your voiceover gestures for reading the clues and things, you don't really, that's the other thing is you don't really use the screen very much except for selecting puzzles and doing voiceover gestures. To solve the puzzles, you kind of have to do other things. So this one, Literally, um, yes, it is a sun, and there's two uh, lights that I had to turn on. And so this one I actually had to, literally the way that I did is I went to my, my control center, and I went to the brightness slider, turn the brightness all the way down, turn the brightness all the way up. And as soon as I did the brightness all the way down, I heard a ding, and I, I lit up a light. I'm like, oh, you sneaky guys. You sneaky, sneaky game. So this one, like I said, you're working outside of the game. Um, let's back up here. Um, there was another one around this area. What was this one? Oh, yeah. Okay, frame corners. This one, I did, I did figure it out without a clue. Um, but it took me a while. So you have one light. Visual, frame, light one, visual, frame corners. Framed corners. That's all it says. And visually, there's just like little outlines. There's like in each corner, there's a tiny little line, you know, that shows little right angles. Like, like the corner of a frame. And again, I, you know, I, I'm thinking in the app, I'm thinking, how do I do this? What, you know, do I, I, I keep coming back to like, you know, things that you would do in any other game, touching, tilting, swiping, nothing doing. And then I thought, wait a minute, I'm looking at this thing in landscape and I'm thinking, wait a minute, 
That almost looks like a viewfinder focus field. You couldn't mean. So I tried opening the camera app. That didn't work. Then I thought, wait a minute. Okay, it's still thinking on the picture line here. What if I took a screenshot? So, uh, again, here's another little gesture you might not know. If you hit the power button and the home button at the same time, you will take a screenshot of whatever is on your screen. Sure enough, I took a screenshot. Boom, light, uh, light was lit up. And so this game does a really cool job of, like, like I said, making you feel or uh, making you um, think outside the box, and you feel so frustrated while you're trying to figure out a puzzle. <clears throat> but when you figure it out, you feel like a damn genius. You know, I mean, you're like, what the heck do I got? Oh, that's what we got to do. So there's one more that. Um, there's one more that was really clever that I, um, that I did beat, but I'm not going to tell you the solution to that one because, you know, I've given you kind of hints about how to think outside the app, how to think outside the game. But uh, there was another one that I thought was really cool. Let's look at one that I haven't finished yet to see if I can figure out something that I haven't finished. Um, one light, type 42, zero of one solved. this one, I have Challenge no clue. 42. Because one light, type, challenge type 42. So one one. challenge type 42. And each one of these these sets are numbered. So like, you know, uh, it, it might be a one puzzle, it might be five, it might be three or two, but each one of these will have an associated number with it. So if you and a friend are playing this game separately, and you can say, like, how did you beat the puzzle set 23? You know, or whatever. You can kind of you know, f so people can figure out, like, which puzzles you're having trouble with. But this one literally... There's... The only thing that's here is open wormhole, so I can go back to my main gesture, or my main um, grid. There's no clue. There's no audio. There's no visual. I actually asked about this one on the AppleViz forum, so we'll see if the dev the developer gives me a hint. Um, you know what? Um, well, because I asked on the forum, I'll wait and see if he gives me a hint. I, because I want to show you how to use a hint. I might use a hint on one. I want to use a hint on one that has multiple lights in it. So they're like, oh, once I figure... And each of these groups, if there's multiple... Um, if there's multiple lights in each group, they have some, they have this, they have to do with the same type of thing. So I figure I'm going to get more bang for my buck if I find a set that has two or three of them. And if I get a clue for one, I'm like, oh, you want me to do that for this one, this light? Well, now I know how to solve the other two. Uh, let's go up to two lights, type five, zero if two solved. Open chat one light, type 16, zip two lights, type 41, zero if two soft two lights, type 5, zero. Okay, let's go to type 5. Lights, type challenge, type 5, visual, partial circle, growing from right at an imperceivable speed. Okay, this one, I'm kind of baffled. I have an idea, but I have no idea if it's right. And if my, my idea is right, I can't test it easily. So let's look at let's listen to, let's listen to our clue again. Light one visual partial circle growing from right at an imperceivable speed. Partial circle growing from right and at an imperceivable speed. Um. So to me, it almost looks like a. On the right hand side, it almost looks like a half moon or a like a. What do they call it? A quarter moon or whatever, like a banana. But it's like a circle that's almost kind of like an eclipse. And I wonder if it has something to do with the time of day. Like, or is it a moon phase thing? Is it, um, because, you know, it can access like the clock or, you know, the calendar. Maybe there's something to do with the time of day or how light it is. Um... 
Let's get one, because this one has two, let's get a hint. Light one of two. So light one, I'm going to double tap light one. Hint screen for light one of challenge, obscured hint. Obscured hint, if I flick to the right. Reveal hint. Let's reveal the hint, we're going to use one of our two remaining coins, or, or uh, hint thingies here. Oh, hint is revealed, let's see what we got here. Revealed hint, not quite waxing, not quite waning. Oh. Oh, you know what? I wonder. God. Not quite waxing, not quite waning. I'm pretty damn sure this is something to do with the moon phase. So, like your battery percentage one, I think. You have to access this uh, because remember, like if you look at the moon phases on on like a weather report, I think you know there's like waning crescent or revealed hint, not quite waxing, not quite waning. Wa waxing. I'm not sure. Not quite waxing, not quite waning. So do I have to literally wait until? <laughs> an actual moon phase, like it uses the calendar to know? That's messed up. Okay, um, so you know what? Uh, based on the clue, I think I think I was right. Um, that means it's another one I can't immediately solve. Visual partial circle growing from right at an imperceivable speed. Yeah, imperceivable speed, because I knew it had something to do with time. And I, though I don't know if there's anything you can do to cheat it. I mean, I suppose you could figure out, I don't know if it would work, where, like, if you figured out, oh, waning crescent, let's say, if I were to look up the moon phases of the next week or so, and if I knew what day that would fall on, maybe I could adjust my system clock. I have no idea. Or you just wait. Alrighty, so that's sort of what I was uh, thinking, and unfortunately I can't do jack with it right now. So... Let's look at one more. Let's look at this other two light one. Okay, so I've got three vibrations. I kind of wish they would do more with vibration uh, things in this because it the, the way the haptic feedback in the iPhone 7 Plus is, it's pretty cool. Um, visual blank card. Visual blank card. Um... I and there's three of them. So when I go in there, there's three distinct little sets of vibrations. And visually, it says blank card, but there's like on the top of the the card itself, it's like a darker gray, a strip of dark gray, then a lighter gray, then a white in the middle, and then on the bottom, lighter gray, dark gray, like maybe up and down border. I wonder if I have to create a note. What did the clue say again? Visual blank card. Blank card. Um, just for fun. Black let's box. go to home. Music folder. Three outs. Uh, I'm just gonna Spotlight. do a quick. I'm gonna do a quick here. I'm gonna just do a spotlight search here. Because I don't remember where notes. I put my notes thing. All right. Back button. Edit. Button. Uh. Notes. Heading. New note. New note. Button. New note. Dim. Note. Text field is editing. Insertion. Uh. Stop. Cap T. Cap T. E. E. S. S. T. T. I. I. N. N. G. G. Okay. We're just gonna put the word testing. Notes. Back button. In a new note. Done. Button. Done. Done. Dimmed. Share note. Button. Let's go back to our game. Black box. Black box, visual, blank card. I, okay, that had nothing to do, because uh, I thought maybe like a note card? Uh, or do I have to do, I, I wonder if it has something to do with like, because I'm thinking it might have something to do with like built-in apps that, you know, that's on every device. Maybe like a, a reminder or a calendar item. Let's go ahead and waste one of our last, let's at least start, waste our last hint. And that way you can see 
button. Reveal hint. Reveal hint. Touch me. Touch not me. Touch another me. Huh? That didn't help. Reveal hint. Touch me. Touch not me. Touch another me. Touch me. Touch not me. Touch another me. What the hell? Reveal hint. Touch me. Touch not me. Touch another me. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that didn't really help. Um. Touch me. Touch not me. Touch another me. Uh, I have no flippin' idea. If you guys have an idea, <laughs> leave a comment down below. Um, Cause I, even with their hint, that really didn't tell me enough. Um, hmm. The only thing, uh, closes in view button, closes in view visual, blank card, visual, blank card, blank card. So what uses cards? Touch me, touch, not me, uh, touch another me, like icons on the home screen. I don't. Blank card. Blank card. I'm trying to think if there's another app that that uses cards that I don't use. I mean notes. Uh, I I I don't know. I know I'm gonna feel really dumb. Uh, when, either, if somebody tells me what this is and I'm, I'm going to feel really dumb and go, Oh, of course that's what they meant. But again, if I sit and think about this over time and I do end up solving it, even by getting, even after getting the hint, <laughs> I'll still feel pretty smart. Cause I'm like, Oh, okay. That's an uncommon or that's a unlikely thing that you wanted me to do. Um, <clears throat> So that'll give you a good, this, I, this is all I'm going to show you. Um, we're going to wrap up the video here, but like, this is, <laughs> this is a really smart, smart game. Um, like I said, I played something similar, uh, visually on my iPad pro. It was called progress to 100. And that had some of the similar things to what we're doing here. Um, but there was some things where it was like, there was also like on screen text where it was like, or like numbers or letters or words or like, Oh, finish this blank two, four, eight, you know, oh, and then you'd have to do whatever. But like, uh, yeah, so far this is all using your device, your settings and your features of your device. So like I said, you're using the app, um, but you're, you're actually, like I said, you have to think, you have to think outside of the app. You know, they say, think outside the box. Well, think outside the app, think outside the game, but yeah, that is black box. Um, Boy, howdy, it's a doozy, um, but it's really, really cool. Um, just for the fact of like the, the way the puzzles work, you know, it's not just your another shape or color or match three or whatever, you know, your typical puzzle game. It's really thinking differently. And the fact that it's very, very voiceover accessible all throughout uh, is even better. So like I said, the app is free. You can grab it now. There are some in-app purchases, so if I ran out of hints, I could buy another set of hints, and, and they do have uh, uh, they do have some paid. Basically, they're like puzzle packs. You know, there's one where there's like eleven of them. There's another one I think that was like eight of them or something like that. I don't remember, but um, you know, it's six lights. You know, again, it's made by one guy. 
support them, you know? Um, there's an icon here, store, filled, button, the store. store. So if I go in here, play single hint. One, there's no shame in this. You show great restraint. <laughs> so I could buy cents. so I could buy a hint for 99 cents. Little pack 3, so you need more. Fine, but don't make it a habit. <laughs> tap to buy for $1 so I can buy cents. 3 hints for uh for 2 bucks. Medium pack 7, your phone and Ryan's coffee cup grow heavier. So Double Ryan's the game developer here. So it's kind of joking like, okay, you get a few more hints there and you give them, you know, you, you can actually buy him a coffee. Woohoo. Large pack 20, Ryan is fed a burrito and your puzzle powers grow. <laughs> All right, he can eat for a day, uh, eat for a meal, and you can get a few more hints. Ridiculous pack, 42. This is just ridiculous. I'll get the dump truck. <laughs> little sense of humor there. Ridiculous pack, 42. This is just ridiculous. I'll get the dump truck. Double tap to buy for nineteen dollars and ninety nine. So you can pay like an ultimate, like uh, it gives you a ton of hints, but. You get, you know, you, you could pay upwards of $20 for it. So, you know, and those are like, those are just your hints. And then there's also like. Coffee for Ryan. By fueling addiction, you fuel challenge creation. Double tap to buy for $2.99. I like that. So you, you just want to be nice and buy the guy a coffee and not get any hints. You know, support him anyway. California burrito. This feeds the developer lunch and slash or dinner. Double tap to buy for $6.99. So, you know, buy him lunch, you know, token of appreciation. I like that, and, you know, he, he, he doesn't have ads in it. The app runs really well. Um, I'm definitely going to throw him a bone. I don't know if I'm going to buy any more hints, um, but I'm definitely going to buy these extra puzzle packs. Um, see how stumped I can be by those. I'm still baffled at that touch-me, don't-touch-me other thing, that last one. I don't have a freaking clue what that card one was the moon one's pretty clever though so um yeah we'll wrap it up here that is black box all one word uh it is on the app store and it's pretty darn awesome um good job what was his name ryan um good job on the app thank you for making it accessible and like i said to all you voiceover users please you know you get the app for free throw them a bone buy some hints uh, buy some puzzle packs buy them a burrito um su support him because we need more accessible games and with that i will wrap it up here um hope you guys enjoyed the video this has been a pretty fun one. Uh, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.